Right then, so I've just come down the track over there. Dark wood one side. Just met a man who just had to just reinforce where the fort had gone because because I don't do this that often. I, I thought maybe the fort was back there and I'd passed it. But apparently just keep carrying on down. I think I have done this before, but, you know, I, I don't do it very often. So you tend to... And of course, different times of year, everything changes. Scenery changes everything. But I recognise that field over there. And we're still on the way down. Basically, I've I've just made a huge descent from the top there and there was no point me going that way that would have taken me back towards the Mendips so but for a minute I thought maybe the fort was there just shows you you can get a little bit disorientated I think probably I would have come down here anyway even if I hadn't seen the jogger I think this was the aim to come down here I'm hoping I'll be able to pick the path up that'll take me straight up the fort in a minute. It's a weird little... I wonder if that's some sort of... where they burn the bracken or something there, that weird little thing there. Yeah, it's amazing, the woods, these big tall pines. Right in the distance I can see um, Wells, I can see <sighs> Clevedon and all that. <sighs> and just doing a little bit more video just to... Uh, <sighs> so you're aware of the different terrain I'm doing. <sighs> it's not easy to walk fast and I'm trying to keep the camera steady. Because it's very bumpy, it's very bumpy. And I'm trying not to sweep fast either. I'm trying to make myself s turn more slowly with the camera. Because the other day I didn't even bother saving one of the videos I did in the wood. It was so bad. I mean, it was out of zoom. It was, a, it was um bumpy, blurry, it was moving too quick. Um, I thought, oh, I'm not even going to keep it. It's one of the worst ones I'd ever done. And I do loads in the wood. Sometimes I have to remember to check the zoom. Nothing worse when it's left on full zoom because it just, everything's just blurry. So dark in there. Quiet and dark. Imagine having that as your home where these trees live. Totally, and it must be black, absolutely pitch black at night. <sighs> it's nice to see that you don't see any litter. <laughs> oh, look, I'm just, I'm just going to zoom in there. There's a little Christmas tree in there, look. Thinks he's safe. Might be. Yeah, you don't see, you don't. That's one good thing I've noticed. People do pick up their litter. The people that come out in the countryside, they do respect it. And if it's groups of students, they get taught the country code. But of course, if I'm coming out here a lot, I won't be videoing every time. It's more likely to be photographs, different part, times of the year. I mean, tomorrow is supposed to be colder, windier. I mean, there's no wind. What is good about today? It is quiet. There's no wind on your face, your hands. You know, I mean, it's absolutely perfect at the moment. Oh yeah, I think we're a little track down there will lead us to our path in a moment. I think I might have done this before. You know, I mean, I was exploring 
quite a few years ago, but I wasn't really coming in here a lot then. Just now and again I would venture in and not really take note of where I was going. But uh, I think this little path splits off and then we go one way. We should take us onto our path towards the fort. He said I should see it by now, well I haven't seen it. It could be the route that he came up would be a more direct route with with good views. I think I've missed the route. There was a route that I know I know of, but I don't, can't remember where. Where there's good views of the fort from over the side. But um, because I'm exploring, I've come to the the route without the views. <laughs> there will be views when I get up onto the fort area, though. I will be looking back over here. Yes, yeah, the 17th of uh, November, by the way, 2017. And we're just coming up to a little junction. And it's, you can see how c much colder it is down here. There's little bits of crispy frost. Little bits of crispy frost. Now, I don't know which track I go on here. This is the other thing. Which one do you do? One's got a label. One ain't. I'm going to go down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this one. Might not be this one, though. What do you reckon? Go that way. Oh, I don't know. No, go that, go that way first. Go and have a look first. Go and have a look first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think they both lead out onto the same path. Path will be behind that hedge. Yeah, I think I've made the right choice. Oh, there's that bloke. Just met the jogger again. Yeah, this is the right one. I think I would have got. I went on that one once before and ended up in all sorts of weird places, so no, this is the right one. Oh yeah, the jogger, he's pretty fast. Yes, oh yes, I know where I am now. There's the path. There's the path that would take you up towards the Quantox. And here, this is where you can make a decision. If you go down there, that will take you back where I started off on the, on the track. If you go up here a bit, this will take you up to the fort. So we've done quite well, Sheila. You have done quite well, and you've done it in time as well. I think. Yeah. Yeah, up here in a minute, we're turning into a field taken us up towards the Robro Fort. So we're on target for time, so that's one really good thing. There we go. It's funny, a place looks so different when you approach it from a different direction. Yeah, there's the jogger. He's actually going up on the fort. That's it. Yeah. 
Right, so here we go, folks. I'm going to turn off now and keep the camera for... This is called Dolbury Warren. And at the top beyond those trees is the a ancient Iron Age fort. Now, I use, quite often I go up that way. But today, no, actually I will go up that way because I want to get pictures. Yeah, if I go that way, I'm, I'm not going to see anything. So, uh, I've got to get over this style. 